who wants to do some noble gas configuration practice? Don't all raise your hands at once. It's okay, I know everybody wants to. Take a quick peek at your notes. I'm gonna use the periodic table. It's my favorite thing to use when we're doing electron configurations. This time we're starting with boron. Boron is located here on your periodic table. But let's save ourselves some time Let's choose the noble gas that comes directly before boron. It's this one here. You haven't memorized your periodic table. Ah! Giant flying bug in the room. Helium is that noble gas. So we put the symbol for that noble gas in brackets and then pick up where helium leaves off, which is right here. Move through our row. Boom. That's 2s2, 2p, one. Y2S2, one, two. Y2P1, boom, we're done at boron. Even though it can fit six, we're gonna stop at one. Who wants to do sodium? Man, sometimes I am sodium funny. <laughs> oh, I love chemistry. Here is sodium, the noble gas that comes before it, neon. Sodium, neon. Again, we're just gonna put the noble gas symbol in brackets and pick up right after it. This one's gonna be short and sweet, save us a lot of time, 3S1. I love noble gas configurations, saves a lot of time. All right, let's get things really exciting by doing zirconium. Zirconium's located right here. The noble gas that comes before it, krypton. Not kryptonite, Superman is safe. Again, zirconium is here, krypton comes right before it. So we're gonna put the symbol for our noble gas in brackets, pick up right after it, move along the rows. We've got 5S2, 4D2. Again, always exercise caution when moving through those transition elements. The D sublevel always belongs to the energy level that's one less than the period that it is in. We are done. 